YouTubers and today I'm going to do a video about, this is a ballistics type video concerning shotguns, about wind versus velocity. That's right. I'm going to show it on paper and show what the wind does to your pattern. This way uh, it'll prove whether you have a good excuse or not for this. <laughs> I know I've certainly used it a few times. I waited for a nice windy day and I finally got one. So, which you don't have to wait long around here. I'm hoping it isn't like a convention up here where we shoot. I'm using my old beat up 20 gauge. Uh, why? Because the shells are inexpensive to reload and I went through my inventory, that's mainly what I had. I haven't reloaded anything since waterfowl season ended. So anyway, here we go. Okay, so the first shot is going to be at, uh, just about 30 yards, or just a little under 30 yards, with a small red shot, size 8. Okay, so just under 30 yards, 27 yards, something like that. That's with size 8 lead, 20 gauge. Actually, it looks pretty good. I actually would have hit something. I aimed right at the paper, so it didn't move it too much. Okay, folks, and then that shot is going to be with number five steel. The steel shot may be affected more by the wind because it has a lot less mass, a lot less density, so we'll see. scattered. Now steel normally patterns tighter than lead. Uh, of course it is a little bit bigger shot. But it's a little bit scattered but it did hit the paper. It's right where I aimed it, right there. Okay, the next shot is going to be with BBs. Steel BBs. So we'll see what that does. I was really surprised by the last result. I thought it would be a lot worse. Okay. This is this is more revealing. I aimed right here. The pattern's kind of all over the place. In fact, if there was a bird right where I aimed, I probably wouldn't have got it. If it had been a little bit lower or a little higher, I might have. Now those results were interesting, uh, but now what we're going to do is I'm going to move it back to 40 yards. Okay, now we're going to move it back to 41 yards. And we're going to start over with the uh, small red shirt. Okay, next, I'm going to use steel number five. We'll see how that does. Okay, she looks a little scattered to me. Still, what 
actually impossible to kill something. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the same load, steel number fives, but I'm going to shift the aim just to the right to see if more pellets hit the paper. more spread out that time. I think they did better by shooting at the paper. Okay, now the next shot. I do this in the car because I'm trying to keep the wind out of the microphone. Um, the next shot's going to be with BBs again, steel BBs. And I'm just going to go ahead and aim at the paper because it doesn't seem like it's moving over all that far. pattern doesn't look very good at all. But I don't think it's so much from moving over uh, as it is just the fact that it's the large pellets on the small board don't do so well. Okay, this shot is going to be with the wind. 41 yards. Number five steel. Let's see what that does. Okay, you see it's kind of spread out but it is at 40, 40 plus yards. That gun really isn't, that gun was never designed for steel shots. So what did we learn from this test? Well, we learned that uh, in the wind, in a good stiff wind like this, it appears the lead holds up a little better. Uh, it doesn't seem to get pushed over as bad or scattered as bad. A steel, but there again, uh, with that older shotgun, it's not designed for steel shot. It doesn't have as good a pattern of steel anyway as it should. But I'm not seeing anywhere near the influence from the wind that I thought I was going to see. Not at all. I aimed at the paper and it hit the paper. I thought it'd move it over at least eight inches. It didn't. Or if it did, you couldn't tell. I'm not seeing it shred the patterns like I thought it would. And everyone says, oh yeah, the wind will shred your patterns. Well, I'm not seeing it. So, from that, I'd have to say that people who use that wind as an excuse, you can't. Can't use that as an excuse anymore for missing However, the birds you're shooting at could be going slower or faster if they're fighting the wind or going with the wind. So based on that, that's you can use that as an excuse. <laughs> anyway, I hope you got something out of this video. and Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Okay, now, the next shot is going to be with larger pellets, number 5 BB in steel, and number 5 BB, what the hell is that?